Today, I built a stationery shop in Bloxburg and it is the cutest build I have ever seen. Hey Cossettes, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? Tell me down below as usual. Today is episode 5 of Los Angeles and of course it's back to school season for a lot of people so I decided to make a stationery shop today because I love stationery shops. I love notebooks. I love cool pens. I just love stationery. Does anyone else just like weirdly love it? It is so fun. So yeah, to celebrate back to school season, not only am I making a stationery shop in today's video but I'm releasing an entire back to school Roblox merch line which you can see a sneak peek of on my outfit today. So we have these super cute glossette varsity jumpers and then a plaid skirt to match and I'll be releasing both of these in 10 different colours and the official merch release video will be posted tomorrow night at 6pm UK time and that's when it'll be on sale in my Roblox group as well. So stay tuned for that and on top of that I've added some super cute little school themed emojis for my Discord server to enjoy. So we've got a lot of cool school themed stuff going on today. Anyways, let's get on with the video. I know what you're all thinking. Who is being added to a pink star on Glossywood Boulevard today? So let's take a look. So today I'm adding Lolly on a Cookie Day, also known as Lizzie, Flaming Pizza Girl, and HG Camp. Is these three are actually top commenters on my YouTube channel, meaning they have the highest amount of like comments from me because they just comment on so many of my videos and they always come and say hi and watch my content. And I really want to recognize their support. They're all so lovely. So thank you so much, you three, for watching all my videos and making sure to comment and support me as much as you can. And I hope you enjoy your stars. So that is the stars for today. And yeah, we're going to move on to the build plans of today's day stationary shop build because I'm far too excited to start building. So of course today we are building a stationary shop and the inspo for this is just really cool stationary shops I guess with all the pens in the books and just a bunch of everything. And then the floor plan is just one floor it's just this really little space and we are just gonna have like a bunch of different displays around the place and then maybe a counter over here maybe a big display in the middle. Same as last video I haven't planned this too much so let's just go ahead and start building. Oh my gosh okay so here we are this this is the little plot that we're using today. It's in between, it's in between the pet shop and it's underneath the detective agency. So this little street is getting quite busy. But yeah, we are gonna start off by doing the windows and the doors and the floors. And I've already added like fences to show where I want stuff to go. So this is gonna be the counter and the rest are gonna be like displays. These are gonna be window displays, but I want them to look cute from inside and outside. But honestly, I'm not too sure what door to use here. Um, I feel like maybe the commercial one is probably gonna be the best. I feel like we're using that quite a lot. So that's going to be the door. We're going to change the colors and everything in a second. And then windows. Obviously, we need quite big windows for the displays. Um, so we have two displays. So we're going to put one there and one there. And these aren't going to be fancy ones because we need to see through them properly. But we're just going to size these a bit bigger like that. And then should we add a bigger one on this side? Like this one? Because the display here is like massive. Okay, we'll do this. I don't know what color to have these. We're going to focus on the outside later. But for now, I want to do the inside first. And we're just going to add a floor quickly. And then we're going to get started on kind of, you know, thinking what stuff we're actually going to sell in here. Because luckily, we do have quite a lot of stationery in game now, I guess. Okay, we have the basics done. Now let's have a look at what we can actually sell. So first up, we need paper. We've got a blank pile of paper there. Um, we can sell rulers. We're just going to get all the stationery out. We can sell markers. We have another ruler. We've got post-it notes. We have, thank goodness for the stationery update. We have so much stuff. We've got scissors. We've got books. Um, what else have we got here? Crayons, files. We could sell makeup brushes as paint brushes. So we're going to get some of these. This all just means that we don't have to spend ages making like really expensive custom items. We've got some tape dispensers. This mask or I could look like a felt tip pen. Spray paint, maybe. Oh my gosh, this eyeliner pencil is perfect for just a pencil. I think we might have gotten everything. Let me just have a quick look through the rest of the stuff. But yeah, I think we've got all of the stuff stationary wise. Let me just look in the kids section as well because there's more stuff in there. Lettering practice sets, we could sell those. And some sidewalk chalk. Okay, there we go. We have a bunch of stuff. That is a lot more than I was expecting. And of course, we can try and make some custom stuff as well. We've started off very strong. Okay, so we have all of that. Now, we just need to work on the displays. Let's work on the displays. Let me get some inspo photos from Google in a second. I just want to patch up this little floor. Aesthetic stationery shop. I add aesthetic in the front of everything. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just got on the topic of stationery, okay? If you know me, I love stationery. I love journaling. I always have. I take art for college. Like, 
like stationery shops are heaven for me and if anyone knows what tk maxx is or tj maxx for the americans i got this adorable notebook there it's like kind of astrology themed and it's like pink and it's so cute i'll put a photo on screen and like the round bit of it opens and oh my gosh you can hear it right now because i've got it in my hand but i just i love stationery okay we're just gonna take a little bit of inspo for kind of like what the shelves look like so this one has oh this one's got like slanted to show off oh what was google doing this one's got like slanted to show off the notebooks and it's got like hanging books oh my gosh we can have a floating display oh my gosh genius okay so we've got these for like the books that kind of show them off and then like little stamps that's cute i'm just kind of brainstorming and then they always have like pots full of pens oh my gosh that is so cute wait we need to do that oh my gosh i'm getting so many ideas and then we could have poster boards as well like all of this stuff i don't even know where to start now okay let's work out what is going where what i'm thinking is this one is for all the books so we can have the books going up the wall on that shelf so let me just put like the books over here and then this one i don't know what's going to be on the table here but this is gonna have like a floating display above it that's gonna look cool okay and then over here we are gonna have like the displays of all the pencils in the pots like a bunch of colored pencils and crayons and markers so i'm just gonna move all of this over here and we can put the chalk over here as well this is gonna be a very colorful area and then i think art stuff could be over here in this display so we're gonna put the paint brushes and the paint pot over here and then you know like the calculators and the scissors and like the cellar tape all the kind of like supplies like tools i guess we can put over on this one like this and then i think this back wall where the counter is can have like paper and like poster boards and stuff like that kind of like a little corner of it with the counter here i feel like this is getting very cramped and then i don't know where all this is gonna go i think maybe we should have like fun pencil cases on this front bit the files and the folders can maybe go over here with the books this is like the basic area where everything's gonna go and now we need to turn this into like super cool shelves so what i'm gonna start with is the pens and pencils just because this is gonna be so cool and colorful and i'm really looking forward to it so we're gonna quickly make a little custom table thing of course we're gonna use our besties the basic shapes my favorite thing in all of blocksburg and we're just gonna make a table that's the shape of this kind of line that i've drawn on the floor so this can be the base hang on i need the triangles i just need to make sure i match the size up properly oh yeah i have a dental hospital appointment in like an hour so i'm literally recording while i wait to go with that so we're gonna put this here we're gonna cover up this corner and now we need to make sure this is the same height as that like this add a triangle to the other side now we can get rid of the little white line around here and then i don't know how to do the shelf here i'm thinking let's see how tall should we have it let me compare with a counter what i normally do is compare with counters to see how tall i should make tables just to make sure it doesn't look taller than like the avatars but we're just gonna make this the same height as the counter like that and then i'm thinking we have storage underneath so we can have like products being sold like in this bit we'll make little shelves oh what color should we have it oh my gosh let me just color this a nice wood color i love the beige kind of wood at the moment i don't know what it started i think it was the beginning of this year i think it was the hot house build i just started using this shade of wood and i love it so much it looks so cute and there we go there's our little shelf unit so now it's time to decorate for this i'm gonna try and make like a see-through plastic pot to put all the pens in like have their own pot each but it's, i feel like this is gonna be difficult to make we're gonna try and make the sides and i think for this we are gonna use a beam and just resize it a bit this is really hard to see let me paint it like bright green while we're making this okay so we're just gonna try and add little sides to this to like the little pot okay here we go and now we can just paint this not green and lower this in to the thing and we have like a transparent little pencil pot and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to add all the little pencils and stuff in here we're gonna need to place them on a basic shape just to make sure we can like transform them oh i feel like this is gonna be really expensive i've already used so many okay we have a small issue let me just say this so this is los angeles obviously and so far we've done four builds five if you're including the one we're doing now but we've hardly done anything like look at this big street but look at the plot data let me just are you seeing this? Are you seeing this right now? 74%. Because of how much detail I'm putting into this, it's just shooting up. So what I think I'm going to do at some point is go back and kind of delete a lot of the fruit in here and the things in here just to get the plot data down. And then if I ever want to use these for videos, I'll just add it back. But I don't want to like run out of plot data. It's stressing me out. Anyways, what we're going to do now is we are going to test and see what this pen looks like in this pot. Does it look too big? Does it look too small? Let me see here. Oh my gosh, that's literally perfect. Look at that. That's 
perfect okay perfect okay i just said that twice anyways <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a bunch of these little mascara ones but we're gonna color them like the color of felt tip pens so we want one of every color so we're gonna start off with the yellow i think this is the perfect yellow shade and then we're gonna do some orange and then my least favorite color purple and then we're gonna do gray and black i think i feel like we need more but then again we do have pencils as well and like a bunch of stuff so i think that's good for now maybe let's do the pencil colors as well so we're gonna have a pencil of every color i do have to say though i think these are like the cutest thing i've ever seen like look they do look like felted pens like look at this they look like stationary it's so cute all right now what it's time to do is copy all oh, these are 600 each are you kidding me anyways so we're gonna have one two three four five now for pencils we're gonna do the exact same things and then we're gonna have tubs of crayons in each color so let me copy and paste this but we're gonna adjust the sizing and make this a bit bigger because obviously these are kind of in like a pile so we can't really stand them up like we can with the pens and the pencils so we're just gonna make little buckets of crayons instead we're gonna place down these in each color okay there we go we have all our crayon colors because we don't need to transform these we can pretty much just put these in straight away so we're just gonna add a bunch of crayons in each there's the yellow ones. Oh, I should probably move all of this, shouldn't I? We're gonna temporarily just move all the pens out of the way to over here. And then after I've done all the crayons, I will start work. Actually, no, I need to go to the dental hospital. But once I've done the crayons and I go to the dental hospital and I come back, then I will put all these pens and pencils in the pot. Okay, there we go. Everything's moved out the way. So now let's just add all our boxes. 11, 12. Here's our crayon boxes and we've got 12 colors. So we're gonna need to think of two more colors, but I might just do like two boxes of black and white. But we're just gonna go and add all our crayons in like this maybe we should do it in rainbow order so we're gonna go red orange by the way i'm gonna lower these down as well so you won't have the like the mega chunky base i just want to get everything put in this first there's blue done and then we're gonna do purple okay and then the last one is the white here and there we go we have filled up our crayon boxes that looks so adorable so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go to the dental hospital and then i'll be back for my appointment and we can carry on building so i went to the dental hospital and I came back and I started working on all the pens and the pencils and I actually realized it was cheaper to make a shape the same size as the pens like out of a round rod instead and use that instead of using the actual like pen mascara items so I chose to use those instead but I still used the actual pens to decorate around the area which you'll see later on and basically I just filled a pot with the round rods and then copied and pasted it to every other pot and I just spent ages coloring each one in all the different colors we had and then I moved on to the pencils and I switched them out to be in like a little tray like the crayons instead and then i just filled each one with each colored pencil and i think it looks super cute oh my gosh look at this as you can tell i've finished the kind of like pen pencil crayon area let me show you what i've done also before i show you that i have actually went and like made all of the shelving units just to get that out the way so they all match this one and let me just show you what's going on down here so we have the felt tip pens in all the different colors and then we have the pencils and the crayons and then on each side so here and over here i have like you know when you can like test out the pens and they have like paper there for you so we've got two of those on each side just to make it kind of like interactive and cute also if my voice starts sounding weird i have such a sore throat like i don't even know why let me drink some water anyways oh and we also have some crayons i mean oh what they're called chalk we have some chalk down here and what i think i'm gonna do is in these little shelves i think i already mentioned it but we're gonna have like the products but packaged so we'll design some cute packaging and maybe put it on some decals but for now that area is done and we can move on to a different one also i think i'm gonna change the floor and stuff so just ignore that for now but i don't know which one i want to work on next because oh my gosh they're all just gonna be so cute i feel like maybe the paint one the paint one's gonna be super cute i think i kind of want the paint one here instead so if we swap these two so let's do the paint display so we have these little paint brushes we'll make a brushes but don't tell anyone and then we have this and we're gonna make these into paints so how we do that is we just resize it to be really tiny and it looks like little paints but i saw this hack a while ago on twitter where someone made like a watercolor paint kit i probably won't be able to find the photo it might be in my camera roll and i'm not going to include it unless i actually know the person's name because i don't want to include it and not credit them so if you can't see it right now that's because i didn't manage to find the 
name but so it was like a little kind of kit like this so i think what we need is the little tubs of paint maybe we can make a kit like this and then we just need paint brushes and i think we're gonna sell kind of cups for the paint water um let me just get the cups ready so we can sell these and maybe maybe some like towels i don't know you obviously need to put towels down when you're painting but let's turn this into a super cute painting display so because i want this to look cute from this side and from this side i think what we're gonna do we're gonna make a little round shelf thing you know like the little carousel things i don't know if that makes sense but we're gonna make it round so it looks cute from either sides and just make it like a little shelf that you can kind of rotate i guess so i think right at the top in the middle we're gonna have a place where we can put like a cup of paint brushes so for this we're gonna use this mug because i feel like it's really cute and i don't want to use the glass because then it'll crash with the thing we're using for the paint water if that makes sense so we're gonna pop that like that and then what we're gonna do all oh, this build is gonna be so expensive we are gonna get a basic shape cube and we're gonna pop the paintbrush on there so that we can transform them i wish they sold these little ones individually like that would be so useful but yeah i'm just gonna pop these in like this and make this look like it's full of paintbrushes here we go we have the paintbrushes full i think that looks super cute and now what we're gonna do is just kind of do a display of paints around it we're gonna make this little ledge a bit bigger so we can pop some paints on that and it kind of goes down in like a pyramid shape if that makes sense and we're just gonna pop a bunch of paints on here let me just color these first actually so we can do a little pink lid and then inside we can have a bunch of rainbow colors we're doing a very colorful build today there we go there is our paint that looks adorable and does this look cute from the outside oh my gosh that glasses is not in the middle hang on let me move that there we go it looks cute from outside as well so there's our little paint display um we're gonna have some more stuff like around it i'm not too sure what to put though maybe we can try and make like a mini easel like this thing i'm gonna use this big one to kind of copy the shape there we go that's kind of cute that'll do you know what let's make a little paint box i've decided we're gonna put one here so i'm gonna make this look like it's kind of like a leather case kind of a little pink one like that and then what we're gonna do is we are gonna try and make it look like it's like a little painting kit how small can we make a little cylinder shape let me test this can this be small enough for the paints okay maybe not maybe we're gonna have to use a structural piece by like rotating it maybe three let me see let me see how many we can fit like along it okay i think three is the perfect amount and we're just gonna add a bunch of little paints Here we go and now we can just go and add our colors and here we go here we have let me zoom in here a really cute little paint kit with like an area to kind of blend the colors um let me make a lid for it actually like that does that look good and that is our little painting area of course we'll add the boxes in there later but i'm kind of just gonna do the boxes at the end but i think this looks so cute oh my gosh we're gonna move on to this one next and this is like the stationary kind of one so we've got like tape and rulers scissors maybe we can try and make like a little pencil sharpener type thing i don't know but i'm gonna steal this shelf oh i don't even know how we're gonna do this okay um so i think we should have maybe like little tape dispensers around the outside of this thing and we can even make the tape all rainbow colored and have this like the normal tape because obviously there's like is it called washi tape like the colorful tape people use to journal i feel like that would be a really cute thing to sell so we can do really colorful tape here and then we can do some normal tape somewhere else once again we have to make sure this looks cute from the outside as well okay Okay, so we have some tape dispensers. I'm gonna make, oh, you can't color the tape. No, okay, never mind. You know what? We're just gonna color them anyways. We're just gonna pretend. We're gonna pretend the tapes are these colors. I think we're gonna put rulers in for the top layer, just like we did with the paintbrushes. We're just gonna put them on little basic shapes and then, and just make them look like they're kind of in the top pot. Here we go. Here's our little pot of rulers. And then, oh my gosh, wait, we should add some more tape because I didn't really finish all the colors. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, this whole shelf is stressing me out. So I'm gonna to finish this maybe plan out what to do on these shelves as well and then i will be back okay girl sets i am back and i have some things to show you so as you can see behind me i finished a little stationary kind of like shelf and if we zoom in here we have a little display of like post-it notes and calculators and then some tape and a stapler and then on this side there's little mugs of stuff so we have some scissors we have pencils kind of like writing pencils and then these are meant to be like rubbers or erasers if you're like american i thought they were kind of cute i just felt like i needed 
needed like another kind of mug of something so i just added those and i think they kind of look okay and we've got like pencil cases around the bottom of this thing but that is the display for the stationery and then if you look behind me look at this oh my gosh okay so i added the notebook shelves and i done three types of notebooks let me show you what we've got so these books here are meant to kind of be like you know the school books you get i'm gonna put them in probably different colors or different shades of pink but they're meant to be school books that you can write in like exercise books and then these are meant to be sketchbooks with a kind of like spiral spring thing on the end that's what the silver bit's meant to be and then these are just fun little notebooks how cool are these what i did is i wanted to make notebooks you know like the fun ones you can buy with different designs on them mostly using pillows i basically added some designs so this one's like a heart this one's meant to look like a you know like the diaries with the little heart like locks on them that's what that one's meant to be we've got clouds we have a bow we have like a little peppermint one and we have a flower one so that's all the designs and honestly i'm so proud of these i think they came out so well i still don't know what to put in the middle yet i want like a cool display maybe we'll have like a bit of everything on here we're gonna do that maybe last i think now we're gonna do the poster board and like paper storage area and like the counter to pay but let's hop into build mode and oh my gosh i'm enjoying this so much the only issue is my money's running quite low so i might have to go and work in a few minutes let's Let's build oh we need to build a shelf for this area this is gonna be you know like where they store like massive sheets of paper and like posters so we're just gonna add a little shelf and then what we need to do is we need to divide this bottom bit into kind of really small little sections i think we should do different colored paper so we'll do like the rainbow shades like we did with the pens so for the big poster board sheets of paper whatever we're gonna call it we are gonna use a basic shape and just make it ourselves like this big maybe and then what we can do is we can put it in here but we can oh that's a bit too big hang on there we go we can like transform it so it kind of looks like it's not just like sitting straight up because that's kind of unrealistic here we go so we have all the colors done and now we can just slightly adjust these and make it kind of look like it's naturally like lying there if that makes sense okay there we go we have all like the colored paper in the sections i think that looks really good now we just need to work out what to do for these bits so i added colored on the top and then down here i added a gray and a black next to the white paper i just want to add where did i put it let me here we go we're just going to add some easels in this corner as well so now we only have the counter in the middle but left so let's work on the counter i'm trying to think of like a cool counter design like a giant paintbrush or something but i'm not too sure what to use maybe we could do you see the paint thing we made here we could do this on its side so like the paints would be on this side and it looked like a giant version of it and then like a ruler placed on top of it for like the countertop i kind of like that we're gonna do that so we're gonna try and make like a big version of this right we've got to add the little white bit on the front there is the base of the box and then we just need to make a bigger version of these little paints and we use the structural rod to make these and we can just add these in And then 13, 14, 15. And now we're going to go and we're just going to rotate them all into place. Okay, so I've kind of made the like palette a bit too long at the bottom. So we have this big gap here. So what I'm going to try and do is make it look like there's like a bunch of post-it notes, like a pack of them, and just kind of cover up the gap that we've left. Like that. That kind of looks cute. We can also make like little sheets of them kind of hanging off a bit. There we go. And maybe we could even like put a message on there as well. I feel like that would be really cute. I'm going to quickly just finish off the counter. I'm going to color all of the paints and I'm also going to add like the little measurement marks on the ruler on the top this is looking pretty cute and i still haven't decided if i want to write something on the post-it note but maybe we'll do that later on for now i want to add a chair behind it where should we place one of these here so we're going to add another one of these round displays and we're going to display some stuff up here i'm just deleting the stuff that's already on here okay so i've been building for like an hour off camera and i also went and worked a bit i've made quite a bit of progress so what i mainly did is i decorated the middle area because i had been procrastinating that for so long so now we have the super cute floating book thing with a giant book in the middle and then a bunch of our kind of stationery and supplies around it which I think looks really cute and then if we go over here we have this finished area which I think looks adorable the little cashier area and then back here we have this super cute like pencil and paper thing where we're actually going to write the store name and we do have a name so as usual I had no idea what to name this so I went to my discord server and asked you guys to help me come up with a name and we came up with Glow 
Smeggle, which is Glossy and Smeggle combined. And Smeggle is that like really cool kids stationery brand. We're gonna call it Gliggle. If you haven't joined my Discord server, there's a link, there's a join link in the description. But yeah, we're gonna call it Gliggle and I'm gonna make like a decal of like writing that looks like it's been drawn and we're gonna stick it there with the name on. But anyways, we have some things we need to finish up. So what we need to do is first of all, we need to sort out the lighting in here. Look at all these light cubes I've got. Second of all, we need to decorate the walls. I wanna add really cute neon signs that look like little drawings which are gonna go all over the walls and then we also need to add the like product boxes in these little shelves and then we need to finish the outside i did a bit off camera so let's get started on the lighting actually you know what we're gonna start on the neon signs on the wall first we're gonna put those in and then see how many lights we need to add after that because obviously they're gonna brighten up the place quite a bit okay edit a glossy here ignore everything i place on the wall that you're about to see because i hated how it turned out so i actually redid it after this which you'll see at the end so just ignore this whole section so i want these to look like super cute little doodles um this one is gonna be a rainbow someone said if i click shift it'll join this together but i don't think it does like i'm clicking shift and it's not oh my gosh wait they're right <gasps> it does genius yeah someone in my comments said if i hold shift while i do this it'll like join them up for me and it's working look thank you to the person that said that and we just want them to look like little doodles so this one needs to be we need to make this bit red of course this one's gonna be red and then we can do a yellow one there's our little rainbow i want to do a little smiley face down here at the bottom this looks like a lumpy egg i'm trying to fix it look at this okay that's good enough that's kind of cute and then this one is gonna be a little frog so we can add some green in here i think up here we're gonna have like a balloon okay so this is what i've got so far i feel like we need more color though here we're gonna add like a butterfly one so i've done all the neon signs and i even did like these little lines at the door and i think it looks really cute the lighting in here though is kind of weird it's like some areas are really bright some are really dull i've tried really hard to fix it like i've put lights like under the floor and it's just i don't know the lighting's been weird so we're leaving it for now and next what i'm gonna try and do is make the walls look like they've got scribbles on them like out of pencil if that makes sense so there's one scribble and then we'll do one here this one should we do like a cute little heart one we can hide shapes in the scribbles maybe we should replace some of these like wiggly neon sign lights with a scribble just to kind of get the lighting a bit you know not really bright this one can say hi so here is our very chaotic scribbled walls do they look cute i feel like they kind of look cute for the product boxes that we're gonna have on these shelves i'm literally just gonna place down some basic shaped cubes because then when I do the decals I'm gonna make some really cute like packaging decals now we just have to do the outside and then we can go and do decals oh my gosh okay we're making a lot of progress here so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna steal the sign from in here and we're gonna put it on the front we're gonna steal the pencil as well and then I don't know okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think of some doodles to put around the sides like this and I'm also gonna do the decals so yeah I'm gonna finish everything else off camera because we only have like the few tiniest bits to do I think maybe but then I will see you guys for the tour. So it's finally time to tour the completed Gliggle store. It just, I keep accidentally reading it as Giggle. Anyways, we have our adorable little outside. I've got some little cute pink scribbles and some little kind of like doodles out of neon signs of like stars and hearts. I kept it quite simple on the outside, but we've got that on both sides. And then we have our Gliggle sign and our pencil and we are gonna step in here and ta-da. I'm so proud of it. I'm guessing in editing, I did say that I changed this wall, but we'll get to that in a bit. So let's start off over here we have our pens pencils and crayons area with the little testing bits and if you look down here we have our completed boxes so i made these decals so we have rainbow pens we have preppy colored pencils and we have cute crayons i love the crayon one i think the crayon or the rainbow pens is my favorite and yeah so we have all of these options we have some more doodles on this wall and then we have the book area so we have files and folders along the bottom and then up here we obviously have like school books and sketchbooks and the little notebooks which are like my favorite then we have the paper area so we have paper and big like poster boards and some more easels and then we have this wall so yeah i basically redid most of this i kept the smiley face though and i just added a rainbow and a cloud and then some scribbles in pink they look a lot better in pink than they did like gray and then we have our counter which i think is so cool with the giant ruler the giant 
giant post-it notes and the giant paint thing. So we can sit here and we can serve our customers at Gliggle. Oh, and then of course we have the middle bit, which you guys have seen, which I haven't added anything to. So this is the same with the books hanging down and the giant book and then just some random stuff kind of in the middle. And then we have the painting display. So I added paint kits for sale and then we got some paint brushes for sale down there. The paint area is definitely one of my favorites. And then we have the stationery where I added some rulers for sale and some calculator boxes as well. So if you zoom down here, you can see the little cutesy calculator box and the ruler one. And of course we have all the stuff on top and that is pretty much it. I am so proud of this build. This is like one of my favorites and I think it's so fun. I think it's so colorful as well, but still really pink, which is good. And that is the end of today's build. Let's take a seat over here for the outro. Let me, should we get like a good angle here? There we go. So yeah, I've worked mega hard on this video and I'm really, really hoping you guys enjoy this one. This is like one of my favorite builds ever. And most importantly, I really hope you guys have a great back to school. I hope it goes well. I know most, I think Americans may be back at school. I'm not too sure, but you know, if you're already back at school or you're not and you're getting ready for it, just good luck to all of you. I hope you have a great time in your new school year. And I love you all so much, Glossette. So I'll see you next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, have an amazing day or night. Let me know what you think of the build, of course, all that stuff. XOXO Glossy Girl.